Hi, I'm Brandy. Welcome to this Frist Art Museum art trunk. This art trunk activity is inspired by the exhibition, Creating the American West in Art. Its images of many people in the West and the wildlife there exemplify the pioneering spirit of America through the 19th and 20th centuries. Artists of this time also capture adventure and beauty in their landscape paintings, using sensational hues that depicted dawn and dusk, as well as chilly desert nights. In this video lesson, you will learn about depictions of the American West during the 19th and 20th centuries. Using art from the exhibition as your inspiration, you will explore the concepts of color temperature and parts of a scene. Then you'll create your own landscape using a warm or cool color palette. Colors can communicate the temperature or mood of a scene by showing how warm or how cool it is. Warm colors such as red, yellow, and orange can show heat, light, and playfulness. Cool colors such as blue, green, and purple can suggest coolness, calm, and clear skies. Most paintings, especially landscapes, consist of a foreground, middle ground, and background, which give the feeling of depth. Objects in the foreground appear as the closest and biggest, whereas objects in the background appear further away. Everything in between is the middle ground. The materials you will need for this activity include copies of at least two paintings from this exhibition. This Art Trunks activity sheet has two images on the front. You can download it from fristartmuseum.org. A 2B or HB pencil. An HB pencil is also known as a number two pencil. A letter sized sheet of copy paper or cardstock. A black or a dark colored pen or marker three crayons or colored pencils in warm colors, three crayons or colored pencils in cool colors. This activity will take about 45 minutes hands-on time. Here are the steps. Look at the artwork. Think about the characteristics and natural features in these landscapes. Determine which features you would like to include in your drawing, such as mountains, trees, or grassy hills. Imagine what your own landscape would look like. Using a pencil, lightly draw your landscape on the paper or cardstock. Trace over your pencil lines with a black or dark colored marker. Fold your paper to divide your landscape into three equal sections from the top to the bottom. Identify which section is the foreground, which is the middle ground, and which is the background. Decide whether you want a warm colored landscape or a cool colored landscape. Pick three warm or three cool colors to shade in your foreground, middle ground, and background. Share your landscape with your classmates or family members and talk or write about your process. Why did you decide to make your scene warm or cool? Is there a story or feeling associated with your landscape? If you'd like to learn more about colors, landscapes in the American West, here are some resources. Children may enjoy Real Cowboys, a picture book written by Kate Hoffler and illustrated by Jonathan Bean. There are videos of this book being read aloud on YouTube. The Frisk will be sharing it in English, Spanish, and American Sign Language on our Storytime page at fristartmuseum.org. We also have activity pages and videos on topics such as color temperature and space and nature. You can find these at friskids.org and through the links on your screen. Teenagers may enjoy the True West, real stories about black cowboys, women's sharpshooters, Native American rodeo stars, pioneer vaqueros, and the unsung explorers, builders, and heroes who shaped the American West, written by Mifflin Lowe and illustrated by William Long. Another book we recommend is An Indigenous People's History of the United States by Roxanne Dunbar Ortiz. Thank you for watching this Frist Art Trunk video on creating the American West in art. Share your creations on social media at hashtag Frist Art Trunk. We look forward to seeing you at the Frist.